Hi, uh, welcome to the tutorial of uh, getting the scooter, the auto fold that we have outside of the box, unpacking it and getting it started. And I'll show you some troubleshooting skills in a bit as well. Okay, so what we're going to need to open the box is a pair of scissors. You've got your straps around the top, just simply cut those. Make sure you've got enough space around the, the living room to, to get yourself, or wherever you're cutting them, uh, so you've got a little space there for yourself. Now, cut the top of the straps off. Leave the scooter as it is, and then take the box up. The rest of the scooter will remain on the base, okay? Now you've got your little pouch here. So inside this pouch, you've got some Allen keys, you've got yourself a fob, you've got yourself some keys, and you've got your arm screws in there as well. If your fob isn't in there, sometimes it will be inside the, uh, the charging box, which I'll show you in a bit, okay? So just take everything to the side. There is your uh, manual for the scooter. You want to give that a read throughout the day and just pop everything else inside the box okay so we've got ourselves a blue auto fold uh, scooter here on auto plus now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to lift it slightly just to get the polystyrene out of the base and then what i'm going to do is take it to the side and take the polystyrene off okay so just tilt it up to release the polystyrene and then inside of your polystyrene, as I said, you've got two boxes. There's one here, and on the other side, there's one just there. Now that side is your arms, okay? Inside here is your charging unit. So I'll put that to a side, and sometimes that's where your, your battery will be for your fob. So I'm just going to give this a bit of a clean up, but everything we don't use inside the box just here. And just pop that to the side. That leaves the scooter here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the bag off. Just bring the bag all the way down. Go around the wheels, and then just push it away from the bag. So again, you don't have to do any lifting with the bag, okay? So pop everything that you don't use inside the box. Take off your bubble wrap here. So it's just held together with a bit of sellotape. To find the tape, give it a bit of a pull. If you want to use your scissors, use your scissors, that's fine. And just pop that inside the box, okay? Now what we've got here, on your battery, which your battery is just placed here, is a little slip. So the best way I could probably describe that is if uh, kids' toys usually have like a plastic grip that stops the batteries connecting, okay? So what we want to do, because you've got the, the fold here, that's going to give you some leverage with the suspension on the front two wheels. Grab the strap where the battery is, pull that strap until the battery pops out, lift the battery up slightly and pull out your little plastic bit that stops the connectors from connecting. Okay. Now you can adjust your height, you've got your clamp here of the, the tiller to where you want to have it. And then I'll grab the keys which will be inside of our pouch. And I'll also grab the fob. Take your keys, two keys, pop them into the ignition and turn. It will now light up because the connection for the battery is removed and your connectors are now connecting. You've got two buttons on your, on your tiller bell here. So you've got A to open and you've got B to close, which will have the exact same on your fob as well, okay? So A to open, don't keep it pushed, push it once, and it will start opening up. And with the also folds, they always go halfway, and then they stop, just like so. And then you push the A button, either on the fob or on the uh, tiller itself. Again, just don't keep it pushed in, push it once. Okay, this will then open up to what we've got here now as a scooter. All you'd have to do is take your backrest back and then you are ready to go. Now what I'm gonna do before we, we go through some troubleshooting stuff is I'm gonna fully assemble it and that means putting the arms on as well. So just grab your scissors again, okay? On the side of your scooter, you've got two black bits that will just sort of like stop your arms from going in. You're just gonna cut them off. They're held together with uh, a cable tie. So just pop your, thing, uh, your scissors in there Give them a cut, and that's on both sides. As simple as that. Now the polystyrene box uh, part I've got over here with the box on the side, that 
contains your armrests. So, two armrests, one for each side. And you'll notice on the arms, you've got a convex bend. That means that you want to have the arms facing that way into the correct slot so it bends in, okay? To adjust your height, you've got some Allen keys inside your, your box uh, that you'd have. You just give this a little turn with your Allen key and then it will extend the key so you've got your arms to stay wherever they uh, wherever you want to put them, okay? So two arm rests, one each side. And then you've got your screws back to that little pouch. And you just pop your screws in on the side. All the way through and tighten them up. Like so. Exactly the same on the other side. Just tighten them up as well, so that goes in there. And then your scooter is ready to go. You've got some polystyrene, uh, not sorry, not polystyrene, plastic wrap around each individual wheels. You just take them off as well before you go. Now I'm going to show you a few troubleshooting skills uh, that will be quite good for you to get used to. Um, so. If you ever need to pair your scooter fob, which is uh, quite a regular thing that we need to do, sometimes, well, most of the time it will be paired anyway, but sometimes it will just be unpaired, okay? So you turn the scooter on, you'll have that one click, uh, that one beep, push down on the A button on your tiller for five seconds, okay? So that button there will push for five seconds. What that will do is give you a long continuous beep, okay? You then go to your fob, you push A and B together, okay? Hold them in for five seconds, and then the beep will stop. And then what you do, you come back to your tiller bar and you push the B button. Hold that B button down for five seconds again. And you release. Your fob is now paired to your scooter. It is as simple as that, okay? So if I close this up, it will automatically sort of close up. Again, it will go halfway. It will stop at halfway. And then we'll push that B button again. Again, don't put, keep it pushed in. Just one push on the button, and that will take your scooter to its folded position. Like so. Again, all you need to do is take your backrest up and go. Now you see that the scooter folds down with your arms still intact. So just move that box out of the way for you. So you don't need to take your arms off when you're folding the scooter down, okay? Now, a few other things to talk you around, including sort of manually folding it if you need to. Make sure your fob, uh, sorry, your key is turned off. Make sure the scooter is turned off completely, okay? Now there's a little red bar just inside the scooter just here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna push that bar down so the scooter then opens up all the way to the base. Now, if you're ever doing this, what you have to do is make sure that you've reset the system and the fold, okay? So I'm gonna grab my fob again, turn the scooter on, like so, and then we're gonna push B so it locks back in Make sure it's all the way down, push B to lock it all the way back in, and it goes all the way up. Oh, sorry, A, hey, what am I talking about? So this is perfect. So what it's doing now should be collecting all the way down. So you push A twice. Until it completely stops. And that click happens, okay? So when that click happens, that means that you've reset it, your system is now folded back down to that original state, and then you push B to start unfolding. Uh, sorry, folding back up. So when this folds all the way back up, it will do exactly the same thing that you would do. Push B once, halfway, push B again, and it folds all the way up, okay? Just like that. Uh, one more thing then just to quickly show you is at the back of the scooter, if I turn this back off, we have a free wheel lever. All scooters have the free wheel lever. And on this occasion, it's on the left-hand side just here. So this red lever here, if I push that down, 
Sometimes you might just catch it by accident um, and your free wall lever will go on. This is the noise that your scooter will make. So that's alerting you that there is a problem. It's gonna beep continuously after that. You're not gonna be able to use the scooter. It will be completely immobilized. So what you do from this position is just turn that key back off, make sure the scooter is turned off, and then that lever at the back, that red lever, bring it back up towards the base of the scooter. Turn your key back on. No loud beeping, just a single beep. And then it's a case of opening up your scooter and away you go.